More than 70 Tobagonians receive financial help to build and repair their homes. Carnival Kings and Queens tonight and stakeholders have combined their efforts to spread the safety message. Info Update Bringing you the latest news, views and, and reviews, reviews along with responses, comments and events affecting you. Brought to you by the Information Division of the Tobago House of Assembly. 71 Tobagonians in need of help to build or repair their homes have benefited from over $600,000 in grants and subsidies. Davia Chambers spoke to one of them, who told us how this will change his life. Sherlan Cole built a wooden structure on land he owns in Mount Pleasant. He and his two children lived there until he had to demolish the house and move. Now he has received close to $18,000 to construct a two-bedroom, concrete structure he'd be able to call home. It's the first tranche of $35,000 and he got it in hand earlier today from the Division of Settlements and Labor under the Beneficiary Owned Land Program. I'm very I'm grateful having this check and it's a good thing to do. While Mr. Cole was the only beneficiary in that category, 15 others received financial assistance under the Home Improvement Subsidy, 22 have benefited from the Home Completion Program, and 33 from the Home Improvement Grant. The Secretary in the Division of Settlements and Labor, Dion Isaac, says helping Tobagonians build or improve their living conditions is part of the division's mandate. Particularly as it relates to where you and your family rest your head at night. Not only are we assisting financially towards effecting improvement works to your house, but equally important is the role the division plays in building and developing new communities for Tobagonians. Altogether, 71 Tobagonians received checks this morning. I'm Davia Chambers for Info Update. A large number of Carnival Kings, Queens and individuals will compete tonight for the top 10 positions in the Tobago Carnival Finals. The cultural coordinator at the Division of Community Development and Culture says tonight's preliminary round is a precursor of the Tobago Carnival experience. Jesse Taylor says there has been a significant increase in the number of participants, with more than 30 in each category. He's urging the public to witness firsthand the competitors' varying interpretations to this year's theme, Mystical Secrets Revealed. The competition gets started within the next hour, that's 7 p.m., at the Shaw Park Complex. The Carnival Countdown has begun and stakeholders have combined their efforts to spread the safety message. Alyssa Crosby has that report. The idea is to create safety caravans which warn about risky behaviour, the dangers of energy drinks and the effects of taking cocaine and alcohol. The Behavioural Services Officer of the Alcohol and Drug Abuse Prevention Programme, Sherman Charles, spoke about the programme. We know that around cannabis season is when persons tend to use a lot of alcohol and use a lot of drugs. So what we encourage them to do is to watch their back, which is our theme. And by back we mean B, blood, A, alcohol, and C, content. Watch your back. So know your limit, know how much you can drink, and stay within that limit. She said the program also songs the warning about drunk driving, um, the illicit sex, you know, the unprotected sex. So we're hoping that from these caravans that persons will be better informed and that we'll have a safe carnival. The first caravan was held at the Gulf City Mall at Lowlands. It will go to Roxborough on February 11th and the final stop will be at Scarborough on February 13th. I'm Melissa Crosby for Info Update. That's it from all of us at the Department of Information. I'm Lois Vincent and you've been listening to Info Update. Sit Tobago, ready to provide your community with the highest degree of professional services in emergency response. Contact Sit Mariah at 660-0065 or Sit Speyside at 660-6096. Search 24 hour services, emergencies, medical or other. Search Pro, the new face of emergency management. <laughs>